this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Eagle to make your PCB layouts. Uh, once you have loaded the Eagle software, uh, you can open uh, projects, open the folder called Eagle and in this folder we will now create uh, another a new project and I will just say yes to this. Uh, project that I'll be doing today is a traffic uh, lights project uh, and uh, this is taken out from the pickaxe I'll show you uh, the circuit diagram so once you've created a folder uh, we'll right click on the folder and we'll go new schematic a new window opens up now on the top uh, toolbar we have got all these uh, buttons over here tools basically uh, that you can use the most common one to look for is this little magnifying glass with a small dotted square in it that says fit now other common ones that I use is on the left hand side you'll see but I'm not using I won't be using all uh, but if you hover around you will find a little note telling you what that particular icon is doing you will move ro copy rotate change mirror delete add va name value uh, net label junction uh, electrical rule check and uh, the errors that are found by electrical rule check okay so let's uh, get into this a quick look at our schematic we have an LDR we have a resistor that's tied down to the negative we've got two three resistors that are currently limiting to the three LEDs will bypass this switch as uh, we know that the battery pack that we have already uh, has an on and off switch and we've got our 08 m and you'll see that uh, input 4 is not getting used uh, what I can do I can modify this and get a pull down resistor on this and add a digital input to it come to the aid uh, button over here click on uh, aid and this will load up all the uh, libraries in Eagle here we go now there's a vast range uh, of uh, libraries around here so if you have time you can uh, look around different libraries and see which parts uh, that your project may uh, you may need in your project battery and I normally just pick a 9 volt battery clip uh, and I click OK I just right click to position which way I want to uh, put this so I'll leave it on the left hand side click and you'll see that it's still floating around the screen uh, to cancel or go back and select another part just press the escape key on the keyboard and it brings you back to the uh, aid window you go down scroll down until you find resistors capacitors and inductors expand this and we want the resistors that are European in symbol so expand this and the most common one that I used is 0207 slash 10 I'll select that and if you recall we've got uh, one resistor with the LDR and I said I'll modify the circuit and have one resistor with this uh, digital switch we have one resistor each for three LEDs and we have two resistors for our download circuit which I'll just place somewhere on the screen at this moment 
pressing the escape key brings me back uh, there's one more additional thing that I will add to this I will add a polarized capacitor across the battery terminals this is just giving me the diameter so the diameter of this uh, capacitor is 8.5 millimeters probably take okay, I can take this one <coughs> rotating that remember positive of the capacitor polarized capacitor goes to the positive and negative to the negative since uh, Eagle does not have a specified pickaxe uh, chip layout you could do you could create a custom part for it but I simply don't have time I see IC holder or IC package expand this we need a dual inline uh, 8 pin socket so I'll place that around here and uh, pressing escape key going back uh, we need LED so we'll come down to where it says LED expand on that scroll down until you find LED again expand that and you'll find 5, 3 and 10 millimeter LEDs there so whichever size you want I don't need to pick 5 we need 3 of those rotation down uh, pressing the escape key now we need a socket to download our program onto the pickaxe chip so uh, let's see item that I'm looking for is a pinhead here we go pinhead expand that and then you'll come down and you expand so, three pin header and I normally pick uh, one by zero three ninety which looks like upright Okay, and I'll position this around there. Press the escape key, and I think that's almost about it. Go pencil, and this leaves you if you click on the fit button, everything fits into your screen as, uh, as it is. Uh, you can click on the move command and rearrange this uh, to your likeness. You can also select the dotted square and select the entire group. Right click and you can say move group and then you can move three resistors. Uh, whichever combination of components together mm, you need to do this move group bring it here move group right click bring it onto this side the pickaxe in the middle move download socket we'll leave it here resistor resistor I'll position this resistor to pin 2 of the pickaxe bring this down and uh, let's go now uh, wiring this all up uh, just have a quick look at uh, which pins what is connected so 0, 1 and 2 have the LEDs and uh, pin input 3 which has the LDR and I said I'll put a switch here so I have forgotten the LDR so let's go back I will go 8 again photo element here photo cells 
and the most common one that I use the VT800 like this come in default is American symbol and uh, I'll just use that and at the same time I've forgotten to put a switch uh, digital input switch so I'll go down uh, under switch there's a special type of switch that I want oh here we go uh, Omron switches I'll take the first one that is there this is like the little tech switch that comes around and I'll just place this here escape key and cancel that so that's all all the parts that we need to get this uh, schematic done so there's two ways to go around drawing the schematic uh, there's a wire tool that you can select what I found is uh, if you click on the end of the component it automatically connects uh, and then it moves around at right angles because the selection up here it, uh, is at right angles so you can change it to whatever you uh, you are comfortable with if you want to create a bend here I'll click and then it extends from there on now uh, I'll connect this to uh, the LDR and you'll see it is still connected so to get rid of it I simply press escape and it's gone and since I know LDR is pulled to the positive uh, and the switch is pulled to the positive as well so I'll now connect the switch and it's still connected so I'll just press the escape key and it's gone now you'll notice that in electronics this simply means that they are not connected however when I'm making this schematic I know that both these components go to the positive side of the battery or the positive rail you select the junction command and put a junction over there okay. this is if you're using the wire tool and most people do use this I just find it uh, a little bit uh, tedious putting in all these junctions so I'll show you another quicker method so let's just delete all this go the net command on the left side click on that and let's do the same thing again and this time when I have clicked once it's not stuck on the existing track and it's not running around it has basically joined to the end of the component that I want it to go so watch carefully from the switch onto the resistor or oh, sorry LDR moment I place that on look a junction has been created by itself okay so this saves a little bit of time uh, going around and putting all the junctions in so I quickly wire this up using the net command the value command this value command uh, let's see what we have a 120R resistors and 10k uh, it's a pull down resistor so let's go back so click on the resistor and you can type in your values now 120R uh, quick check with errors once you click on that uh, I get no errors or warning right at the bottom you see where the pointer is uh, pointing at the moment no errors or warning if there was any errors or warning a small window will open up and uh, indicate where the error is